and welcome to Narrowboat Living for the Over 60s. I'm Gary and we are currently on the Aylesbury Arm of the Grand Union Canal. And with me today are my two companions, Beryl, the white dog, and Bunty, the brown dog. I've been living on narrowboats now for nearly three years and one of the things I noticed when I was doing my research that there weren't many channels on YouTube that were designed for people of the over 60 years of age bracket. So the aim of this channel is to pass on my knowledge as to how I got into boating, why I got into boating and the pros and cons of living on the waterways in the UK. Having spent my work in life in the military, the police force, education and lastly the utility sector, I retired from work in 2019. I was lucky enough to retire at the age of 60 and move to Spain but as a result of Brexit and Covid and a couple of other reasons um, I decided to return back to the UK at the end of 2021. After returning from Spain I started doing research into the cost of living, um, where I was going to live, how I was going to live, how I was going to support myself um, and so on and so on. And I found that I didn't really want to spend the rest of my life uh, stuck in one place living uh, in bricks and mortar, as, as we call it here in the UK. So I had a look to see what the alternatives were. And after having friends in Spain that uh, had a narrowboat, I looked into narrowboat life and found that it would have been a way that suited the way that I wanted to live. With it just being me and the two dogs, it was an easy decision to make really. And having a military background meant that I was adapted to being outdoors. There were two other main factors as well that I was taking into consideration. Firstly was the cost of living in the UK. And I was amazed at how much prices had gone up since I returned to the UK from leaving in 2019. The cost of actually you know, just renting a property, let alone buying one, particularly in the Hertfordshire, Buckinghamshire, London area, were, was staggering. So that was one of the main reasons. And the second reason was for health, really. Um, being 66 now, um, I noticed that I was putting on extra weight. Um, I wasn't feeling as healthy as I used to in my younger years. And I decided that um, by sitting on a couch all day, just watching TV, taking the dogs out for a walk every now and again was not really the lifestyle for me so being out and about on a boat in the countryside moving around getting exercise on a daily basis eating healthily and generally being aware of my health I knew was a better option for me so that's why I chose to get into narrow boating I hope you found this introductory video helpful uh, it's not as nice a day today as it was yesterday a bit wet, overcast uh, and chilly, so I'm going to make my way back to the boat, uh, make a cup of tea. In the next video I'll go into a bit more depth as to the boat, where I found it and how much it cost and everything. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Uh, have a good day and take care.